YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy Josh. We're back up in this thing with another one. Hey, we woke up this morning. It's another beautiful day. All praise to the most high, man. Let's get it. Hey, dog, when it comes to you being disappointed by people, relationships, friendships, whatever, bro, it's because you're not managing the expectations the right way. You mismanaging expectations. If you go relationship after relationship after relationship, friendship after friendship after friendship, and you keep getting disappointed, you keep getting let down, bro, it's because you not managing your expectations the right way, dog. It's either you not setting your expectations at all, or you too upfront with your expectations. And your expectations is just too high. Either way, man, you probably gonna fall into one of those categories. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what helped me stop being disappointed by people. I started being self-reliant and not necessarily caring if people met my expectations met my expectations or didn't. Not to the point where I'm not affected by it, no matter what. You can't be affected by other people and let them know the right buttons to push, bro. Nobody should never know what the buttons to push or say this certain thing or do this anything to have any sort of control over you, dog. That's the bro, that's when you become powerful. That's when you become cold. Is when somebody if they can they can do or they can don't. It don't matter. They're gonna get treated the way that they should be treated because we know how to manage our expectations and we ain't gonna be disappointed, bro. So with that being said, let's get into the video. The first thing, type of people I'm gonna talk about is the people that don't set expectations at all, bro. Why don't you want to set your expectations, bro? Why why are you scared to tell that girl? What you do like and don't like. To my ladies out there, why are you scared to tell your friend what you do like and don't like? Why do you, why would you rather go home, talk behind your back, talk behind her back, talk about how much stuff you don't like about her, and then the second y'all see each other, it's like you don't even don't even sit there. Wow. Why why don't we set expectations? Why are we so non-confrontational when it comes to these people that we want in our life? See, that's the thing, bro. You want those people in your life too much. You want them in your life bad, like really bad. Like you probably won't admit it because you ain't really self-analyzed or reflected on it, but you you don't want us to go without that person. That person has done something to you or made you feel a certain way. I don't know what it is, but I think it's because you in need of them. I don't know why you need them. Or what's so important about them to the point to where you won't set no expectations or you'll keep your expectations on mute to the point to where that person doesn't get through any sort of, I don't know, have any sort of reason to leave you. That's basically what it is. You're in scarcity, dog. You are in scarcity. You don't want to leave them. Why? Because you're not self-reliant. You're not independent. You can't let that person walk out of your life. And so you'll do whatever it takes to make it as easy as possible for them to stay in your life why because you don't you can't get another one of them why because you didn't work on yourself you got some things you got a kink in your armor for something that you got to work on but you don't want to work on it because it's uncomfortable it may be dark it may be uncomfortable but there's this person right here that will accept you for who you are and it will prevent you from actually having to put the work in from having to actually address those traumas that's actually messing with your mental. You, that, that, that's, that's the problem. You not self-reliant. You in too need of somebody. And you want to know something, they probably know it. They can do whatever they want, treat you whatever they want, say whatever they want, without having any sort of fear of re repercussions or consequences. And then if you notice, if you don't have no expectations, if that person understands that you ain't got that expectation or they find out that you got no expectations, like, man, I can do whatever. They don't got, they realize you ain't got no self-respect for yourself to the point where that they feel like they can disrespect you and get away with it. And they probably do. And you just go home being sick, dealing with it, but won't do nothing about it because you need them. Bro, you need to get to a spot where you don't need them. Oh, this is your friend, Shawty? She, she, she been your friend since fifth grade? You won't let her go because you probably ain't a good person. You probably don't got a good personality to go attract another person that could be a better friend to you. Somebody that you can set expectations for you and honor your expectations. 
but instead you start dealing with the BS. You I, I you start saying that's just how she is, or that's just the that's just how it's always been, bro. No, bro, set the expectation and set the standard. Stop being scared, dog. Have some respect for yourself. You want to keep you go home every single day, or you waiting behind your back, be going through going going through it, acting sick, bro. I know you don't want your girl going to the club. I know that gets under your skin, bro. Say something about it. Babe, it, you see, the thing is, is that you you don't want to lose her. Because why? Because you're so thirsty, dog. Well, I don't want to be... I don't want to make, make her choose between me and the club because I, I'm scared she's going to choose the club. Yeah, she probably is going to pick the club. Because you lame it. You lame anyways. You ain't got nothing going on for your life. You bring nothing excitement. No, nothing exciting to her. To her, she has nothing to admire you about. So she might as well go be in a club because at least she can have an experience. She can go out and have fun, get a bunch of attention. With you, she just gets the attention and she don't get no satisfaction being with you, dog. So you let her go to the club. Shoot, if it's real bad, you let her even cheat on you and let her come back. That's how bad you need her. Why? Because you, you can't. You probably can't get another one. That's probably. That's probably it. And so you'll just keep getting disappointed. you just keep having expectations for somebody. Oh, because you're scared to walk away. You're scared to let that person. You're scared to put an expectation on that person because you think that they're not going to meet your expectation. And then at that point, you got to choose to let them go. But you ain't got the willpower to let them go. That's the problem. You are too dependent on them, bro. You, you are in a powerless situation. Where somebody has all the power to do to, to control you, dog. Because they once they find out what you need from them, they, <laughs> game over. Once you once you once you knew that player on the football team, once he knew that he was so cold, and once he realized he was the only coldest person on the team, and he realized that the coach needed him. And that if you hey if if you if we if you're not playing we're not gonna lose. And once that player got hey, he was like oh bet. Why you think players that are very good athletes don't do good at school? Because it's always excused because of how much in need they are, dog. If if somebody knows how much in need they are, bro, that's that's when they get to slack off and not meet the expectations anywhere else. Coach need me to play on that game on Friday. He he ain't, he he keep telling me about my grades, but. He ain't gonna hold the standard. He ain't gonna tell me the expectation. Cause why? Cause he's he scared to go without me. Bro, people gonna continue to do that. They're gonna continue to take advantage of you and they gonna respect you less and less and less because you ain't willing to stand ten toes down on what you said, bro. Or what you like to say, or what you scared to say. So if that's you, bro, you need to do a lot of self-analyzing, self-reflecting. And you probably just need to admit and let's say, I'm scared to lose that person. I'm in need of them. And the second thing is, where I think some of y'all keep getting disappointed, is you got to set y'all's expectations up way too high. Or you're too upfront with your expectations. You for, for, First date, you telling her exact, I need a feminine woman that do this, do that, do this, cook, make the bed, blah, blah, blah. A woman gets scared away. She don't want you to do nothing. She, she'll stop talking to you. You wondering why? Why nobody don't want to be with me? Well, nobody don't want every every single time I get to this point, I tell them exactly what I'm looking for, and they never want to meet me. Man, that's what's wrong with these female bro. It's because you're so judgmental, bro. You don't have a set. Nobody can be comfortable. People want to be themselves, bro. Let people be themselves around you. Let people show you who they are. When you come out there and say, this is how you need to be, bro, people are going to be either going to walk away from you or they're going to try to pretend or try to fit in a box where they don't fit or not qualified to fit all to appease you. And then whenever they get in and whenever they get locked in, that's when they start showing their true character. That's when they start showing who they really is, bro. Because you came so up front saying, this is what I need, bro. Let people show you who they are. You shouldn't be reliant on nobody. They should always be a compliment to your life. Let them, hey, bro, every t let me give you an example, bro. There's a girl that I was dating. Bro, she come to the house, she wouldn't do nothing. 
she wouldn't want to cook she wouldn't want to help me with anything she just come up lay up chill have a good time and then she go home shoot so she even expected she even expected me to feed her when she come over she where the food at boom didn't want to ever bring no food around didn't want to cook no i go buy the food i ask her sometimes like hey if you want to eat like you can go ahead and start on dinner i'm, I'm running behind or i'm gonna do this but she didn't want to start on dinner and that's sure i didn't make her i didn't say that's what the expectation was for i just said oh can't be trusted oh I see. She just want to come over here and just receive, 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 and not, not give in anything. And then there's this other female that I was messing with. Then don't got to say nothing. Didn't say what I needed from her. She always say, hey, what can I do for you? What, what you need me to do? I always say nothing. I'm good. I'm sure if he here, we kicking it. I'm cooking the food. I'm over here. I'm doing the dishes. I'm over here cleaning. I'm true. This is my crib. You ain't got, I don't got no expectations of you. Show me who you really are. She come over. She start cooking the food. She come over. She start bringing the food to me. I ain't got to worry about cooking. Every time she come in, she got something in her hand. Every time I look away, every time I look away and I go to the other room, I come back. The room is a little better. She put it together. She's showing me who she is. Ah, she can be trusted. She wants to add. That's that's what I like. Oh, she meeting my expectations without even knowing. She's showing me who she is without without even me having to say something. You don't want to try to make somebody do what you want to say, bro, because they ain't going to do it. Let people be who themselves around you, bro. Let them be comfortable. Y'all dudes over here be judging these women for when they go get with a dude for the first date, bro. And you don't even realize when you say, oh, I can't be with no girl that do this on the first date. You scaring them away. You don't allow them to be comfortable. Instead of you just chucking it ass, man, maybe I'm just that guy. She just really attracted to me and she just has to be with me. Oh, oh man, she, 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 she doing it, bro. Let people be, stop being judgmental. That's a lot of y'all dudes' problem is that y'all over here being ju judgmental and then a female get around you and she says that judgment all coming off of you, bro, and she don't want to do nothing for you. Why? Because she's scared you always going to say something. Then you always wondering, well, why you don't do this or, or why you don't do that? Sure, she can't be her true self. She can't be comfortable around you. She walking on there. She, she don't know whether or not to do it or to not do it. Because she's scared of you. you. You so up front about your expectations. You so up front telling her what you do like and don't like, bro. She can't even have an opportunity to be herself. And then you wonder why she don't like you. Let people show you who they are. And then treat them as such right afterwards. But see, you guys, y'all are also in desperate need as well. You in such desperate need is that you, you want that person you don't even want to know who they are or let them show you who you are. You say, whatever you, whoever you are right now, I'm in such desperate need. I need you to change so, so you can fit my expectations. That's why you so upfront for your expectations because you need them so bad and you want it to work so bad. But you willing to set expectations and you really did communicate that. Say so you graduated from, okay, last time I didn't have any expectations. Now I'm going to say my expectations, but I'm going to say my expectations up front so that you can go ahead and start trying and working on this, bro. As opposed to you being, you, you, because why? Because you have expectations right up front. Instead of letting that person be who they are, then you treat them as such. Is she girlfriend material? Okay, she can be your girlfriend. You did the 30, 30 days, you looked at her, she ain't girlfriend material. Then don't treat her like girlfriend material. Don't expect that from her. Let people be who they are. But it all starts out with you being self-reliant and independent on yourself, not needing nothing from nobody. Being comfortable with yourself. That girl don't want to get with you. She, 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 she acting hard to get back, bro. You shouldn't be worried about that one because you should be having the ability to be comfortable within yourself that you can go get another. Oh, this one friend is acting out of pocket. Cool. Probably got to probably got to stop kicking it with them. I ain't worried about them. They shoot. I don't need them to do nothing. I don't need them to go out here and do this and do that. Or if I want to go out to eat or if I want to go out to drinks, I'll go out there by myself. Or if anything, I just go with somebody else. I don't need that person. They don't got no power over you. <laughs> it's just is what it is, bro. When you got, when you in that, bro, if you watch Hard Knocks, NFL Hard Knocks, they got all them people over there trying out for the 53-man roster. You think the coach care about cutting people? No, why? Because he, he going to have somebody else. 
he got hundreds of people that's trying to get up to that level. And he trying to fit it down to 53 people. I just put you on the practice squad. Oh, no, nah, you can't make it. He ain't, work, he ain't never in no desperate need saying, I want you, I need you. In NFL, if you ain't performing, if you ain't meeting expectations, bye. There's another one that's willing to come over here and replace you that can do a better job than what you're doing, bro. Let people show you who they are. Let the preseason take place. Ah, yeah, I liked how she I liked how she pre pre performed in week one, week two, and week three. Yeah, she 53-man roster material. Ah, nah. See, she she ain't uh, the expectation, man. It wasn't as high. She gonna be on the practice squad. Oh, man, she showed, she performed horribly preseason, bro. I was vetting through her. See, y'all fellas don't even be having no vetting process. Oh, I was I was vetting through her preseason. Oh, she, she can't do it. She can't perform. No, she got to get cut. She got to go. Y'all dudes can't do that, bro. Why? I don't know. Because why? Actually, I do know why. It's because you're scared to be alone. I remember it's because you're scared to be alone. Why? Because you're in desperate need. Because you're in scarcity. You're not self reliant You're not self-independent. You go over here probably telling yourself, oh, I'm independent this. I'm independent down. No, you're not, bro. No, you're not. Not if you keep getting disappointed by people is a good indi indicator that you don't know how to manage your relationships. And managing relationships is just managing expectations. That's it, bro. Point blank, period, dog. So take that information for what it's worth. I hope it helps you, dog. But that's all I got for y'all boys. Make sure y'all like and share. I'm going to holler at y'all.